Good evening, Los Santos. Dan Dorfman here reporting from up here at Sandy Shores and just outside the Yellow Jacket. I happen to be standing here with, uh, with Scott, and uh, Scott happens to be running a uh, charity on behalf of the Hungry of Los Santos Food Kitchens. It's a charity auction, and uh, hey, Scott, why don't you tell us a little bit about the charity, and uh, h how's it going? Oh, it's going great. Thank you so much, Dan. Uh, and thank you for uh, coming by and checking us out here. So the Hungry of Los Santos Food Kitchens is a great organization. Uh, they've got a couple food uh, uh, food kitchens downtown uh, that uh, help the uh, hungry of the area. The way they work is amazing. So what they do is uh, anyone that's hungry can show up at any time and get fed. Uh, no questions asked, no forms to fill out. Just if you're hungry, you get to eat. And they're looking to open a location here up north. So this charity uh, is going to help to benefit that uh, as well. So the, the hungry of the north that don't have... Uh, you know, good transportation because it can be quite expensive. Uh, can get fed as well. Well, that's quite. Uh, sounds like quite a remarkable, uh, remarkable uh, charity and effort, uh, especially now that uh, you know the economy is what it is. Even though we're starting to see some signs of recovery, it's still a still a lot of people out there hurting. Oh yes, for sure. And there's a, a big gap in uh, the people that get help. You know, uh, the the children thank god are getting help from the schools now they're starting to offer uh summer programs and uh break programs when they're out of school that they still serve lunches to Thanks, uh, children who wouldn't eat otherwise but you know uh there's an age range that just isn't covered and that's where uh organizations like the hungry of los santos come in to help and uh, i couldn't be happier uh than to be working with these great people now what uh how long has the uh the hungry of uh, los santos food kitchens been in operation uh, here in Los Santos. So they're relatively new. Uh, they've been operating for two years, and about a year and a half of that, they've. Uh, it took about a half a year for them to get uh, spun up and uh, get operational. So about a year and a half of that, they've had a uh, uh, one kitchen, and then opened their second one. I think maybe uh, six months after that. Um, and uh, yeah, overall, they've been operating for about two years, uh, helping out. Uh, these poor folks. That's perfect. And, and this uh, the support for this particular mission downtown and the uh, the hungry uh, for Los Santos food kitchens. Now that's uh, that cuts across uh, denominations. It's not necessarily just affiliated uh, with one denomination. It's uh, kind of a collection of all the face kicking in and helping out. Is that right? Uh, yes, sir. And that's one one of the great things about uh, the food kitchen is they don't not there to preach to you they're not there to uh you know convert you to one way of life or another they're just there to help the people who need it and uh, i think that's at the core of every religion if you look at it that's uh that's fantastic you know in a, a city that uh, as tough as los santos can be sometimes or up here in sandy shores it's good to have uh you know people out there uh, remind people that that there are good folks out there doing good work trying to help their uh, fellow community uh, members out and uh, you know t tell us a little bit Scott what what kind of food uh, would we expect if we go down there and uh, grab a bite to eat so uh, they you know they serve the typical uh, soup and uh, you know beans and stuff like that just your basic staples rice uh, potatoes vegetables uh, generally healthy food uh, they try to stay away from fried food though uh, they do have like sloppy joe night and they have uh chips with that and uh sometimes they do hamburgers and french fries but uh for the most part it's just you know proteins and vegetables very basic healthy food that's uh uh you know easier to get in bulk and uh is better for everyone who eats it oh well that's uh, that's fantastic that kind of uh you know that kind of thing is uh you know is very encourageable uh, it sounds like the uh, people that are in, in the most need are going to get the most help. And uh, they're going to get a, a well-balanced, nutritious meal when they go out there to, uh, uh, to the Hungry of Los Santos food kitchens uh, and uh, be able to, to get something that's, uh, you know, that's going to that's gonna, you know, help them out along the way. Give them a hand up. Uh, is there, uh, how do people get in contact with you, uh, Scott, if they want to get involved in this raffle or perhaps they want to just help out down at the, one of the food kitchens themselves and volunteer their time? How do they uh, get in touch with you guys? 
Okay, so uh, we're in big trouble, guys. They can go to the website for P3O, the hundred of Los how you doing? Dot com, or they can uh, text me. Uh, my number. Uh, tell you, let me bring it up. I never remember my own number. My number is six six eight two zero nine six. So they can call or text message me anytime, and. Uh, we can work together on this raffle or the the next charity event. This won't be the last one. You know, there's always more we can do as a community. Well, that's great. Uh, you heard that, folks. Uh, you know, if you're interested, uh, give Scott a call uh, and, uh, you know, get involved. You know, help your neighbors out down here. There's enough bullshit going on in uh, Los Santos. There's enough people who claim to be out there helping the community, and they're just, uh, you know, kind of causing more trouble than uh than than what it might be worth but uh it's good to remember that there are good people out here in los santos doing good work trying to help out trying to do the best they can and uh you know this is uh this is a great uh, great city and uh we got uh excellent people like scott out here doing hard work hey, th hey scott thanks a lot for your time this is dan dorfman with uh, another Dorfman Files for WVT TV News. The news you need to hear when you need to hear it. Stephanie, we're going to go back to you in the studio. Thank you, Dan. All right, Dan, we're out. Cut. Hey, thanks a lot, Scott. That was good. Hey, thank you so much. God bless yeah, you sure. for bringing attention to this. Yeah, sure thing. Sure thing. Pleased to pleased to.